In a previous video of mine, I showed you how to install official Android Nougat for your Moto G4 Plus. And so in this video, I lay my first impressions for Android Nougat on the Moto G4 Plus. This is Shreyas from the Android Nerd. Let's get started. Regarding my first impressions, I feel that the phone works great with a much smoother experience and no lags. There are a few things that Motorola has added and to be honest, they are pretty satisfying. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into what Motorola has added for its budget beast. Now the first thing that Motorola has added is a security patch level. Yes, the device has got October security patch level with Android Nougat. Now the second feature is a swipe to shrink screen gesture. It's basically the one-handed mode. You can enable this by going to the Moto Maker app, Actions and enabling swipe to shrink screen. Last but not the least, you can now switch off your phone using the fingerprint scanner. You no longer need to use the power button. To enable this feature, Go to your settings, security, screen lock settings and enable fingerprint sensor can lock phone. So those were the few things that Motorola had added. Now let's see what's new with Android Nougat. Starting with the notification bar. When you swipe down once, you can now see your notifications along with quick toggles at the top. When you swipe down again, here you see all your quick settings. Now the next thing is that when you swipe down twice, at the bottom right of the quick settings, you see an edit icon. When you click that, you can edit your tiles. Just like that. Next up is a split screen or multitasking feature. When you're using an app, if you long press on the recent tab icon, then you can now use two apps at the same time. Now the third feature is the revamped settings. At the top, there's a suggestion. And then you can see a little information for each category. For example, in the About Phone section, without even opening the About Phone, you can see that your phone is running Android 7.0. Lastly, there's the quick switching between apps feature. When you double tap on the Recent tab icon, you can quickly switch between your recently used apps. So those were my first impressions for Android Nougat on the Moto G4 Plus. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Also don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter for more updates. Thanks for watching.